Gross. Okay. I just record. Oh. I just realized I recorded that entire conversation about being sick. <laughs> I will so not sorry. be included. <laughs> yeah. I was. I, I didn't oh. register until your face made you made like a face, and I was like, "What?" And then I realized it said "stop." I'm like, "Oh, wait a minute." So How annoying. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so what we're gonna do tonight is we're going to do family signs with some places and wh question words. So. To start us off, I'm making sure my list is, oh, don't click on that. There we go. Okay. So the first time we're going to use the sign for family, which is you're going to have two Fs and they're going to start together and you're going to form like a circle. So family, family, mm -hmm. family. And this kind of motion, like we're seeing, right? Like this kind of motion is used a lot for any type of group of some of people. So for example, class class, that kind of thing, um, family, group, team, is the like their letters with that. That's a little more English than just full ASL, but a lot of people use it. I tend to use it just because we're so used to, you know, a group and a team are different in my mind. You know, I'm like, well, I think of a team as like, that means it's a sport. Like, oh, I have to go see my team. Okay. Oh, I have to go see my group. Okay. Well, that can mean group of like, you know, your book club, you know, something like else besides that. Whereas I think team automatically is sports in my mind. So I have a, I have to have that thing. It's just for me, but um, excuse me. A lot of times in ASL, they'll just kind of do the overall group, but family is, they do keep this one though. F's for family. Yep. Okay. And then our next one is mom. So mom is going to be five fingers and your thumbs on your chin. Mom. Mm -hmm. Then we have dad, which is going to be up here on our forehead. Same thing, though. Mm -hmm. Dad. If you were going to say mom and dad, you go mom and dad. Mom and dad. Doesn't matter if you start from your top of your forehead to your chin or your chin to your forehead. If you just go back, mom and dad or parents <laughs> then we have sister so sister's a little bit I'm gonna kind of actually let myself turn a little so you can see because it looks a little weird you're gonna have two l's really one l and one pointer finger I always do this and then I change it every time and you're gonna have your dominant thumb like with the month l on your chin and then the other one's kind of pointing forward and you're gonna go on top sister sister mm -hmm. so the one on your chin is going to go forward and down on top of your other one yeah sister sister mm -hmm. this one's just such an awkward one to do through a zoom it's so hard and every time i angle i'm like no i don't think that looks good either but sister mm -hmm. brother is going to be the same thing but from your forehead so i usually instead of doing it like that i do this where it's like my thumb's resting brother 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 mm -hmm. so sister brother that was also siblings like brother and sister both siblings <clears throat> then the next one is going to be uncle so uncle is going to be a u and it's going to go this is the side of our forehead and we're going to go uncle uncle mm -hmm. you're just kind of almost making like circular motions uncle and then our aunt is going to be near our chin. It's an A, ant. Now, one thing, if you guys have noticed just a little bit, is that a lot of the female ones, like sister, uh, sister, mom, aunt, are all around our chin, whereas brother, uncle, dad are all up the forehead. Um, that's kind of how it is for any time you're talking about a male or female. And so, Sorry, I told you guys, I warned you. I'm probably gonna have to take a lot of water breaks. <laughs> but um, that's just something we'll see common. And it kind of almost, in my mind, it helps me a little bit because when I was learning it, if I was struggling to remember, well, which one's which, I'm like, okay, well, all of the males are up here. Like dad is up here. You're not gonna have sister up here. You're gonna have brother up here and sister's gonna be down here. And that goes with, because I didn't show you guys the sign for boy and girl. And that's why. So the sign for girl is going to be a thumb and it's going to go on your chin, like the side of your jaw to your chin, girl. Mm -hmm. And then boy is going to be boy, like a baseball cap. 
Mm -hmm. So like I said, they're all going to be in this certain area. Girls are all down here. Boys are all up here. So that's a good like little tidbit to help if you're practicing and you're reviewing is, okay, well, all the boys are up here. And I always think of it because the boys makes me think of a baseball cap. No, I know girls can wear baseball caps. I wear them all the time. Like I am one who loves a baseball hat, but I just think about that is that a, like a baseball cap. So, okay. The next one is going to be daughter and son. So what you do for daughter and son is you're going to sign the same things for boy and girl, and then add the sign for baby. So for daughter, you go girl, baby, girl, baby. Mm -hmm. It's like that motion we have, like we're holding our own baby. Yeah, girl, baby. For son, it's boy, baby, boy, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. All right. Now for grandma and grandpa. So for grandma, you're going to start here like we did with mom and you're going to go grandma. You're going to bounce it out. Mm -hmm. Grandma. And then grandpa is going to be on your forehead and you're going to bounce it forward. Grandpa. Grandpa. Mm -hmm. And then let's see what other things have we not said. Ah, yeah, that's it. I skipped cousin with aunt and uncle. <laughs> Usually they're together. So cousin, there's technically three ways you can do cousin. Um, in the end, it's still just a C. So what you do is if you're talking about like the, these two, if you're talking about a specific boy cousin or girl cousin, you put the C in that spot. So if it's a boy cousin, it's up top. If it's a girl cousin, it's down low. If it's, you know, you're just talking about a cousin in general, it really doesn't matter if it's a, if they're a boy or a girl, you know, or that's really nothing. Like you're just talking about cousins, like a whole group is you just do cousin right here with your ear, cousin. Mm -hmm. I tend to see this one more. Um, I think it's just because it's so broad, you know, a lot of times if you're saying a cousin, talking about a cousin, you know, oh yeah, my cousin does that. My cousin works there. You know, they're not always being like my cousin, you know, being very strict. They're just saying, I have a relative that works there. So, all righty, let's see. We have cousin, solder, or cousin, solder. Sorry, son and daughter blended together. <laughs> That's what happened. Um, cousin, daughter, sister, brother. Oh, granddaughter and grandson and niece. Oh, thank you, Miss Katie. Okay, so niece and nephew are going to be the ends. And then for niece, it's down here, niece. Nephew is going to be up here, nephew. Mm -hmm. So niece, nephew. For granddaughter and grandson, there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, and every time I ask people, there's always a different way. So I'm going to give you guys a few other ways there are. All else fails. If you're just like, I'm not sure, I really need to emphasize this is a grandchild, then you can always just fingerspell. Like it's not, not the favorite thing because it's a very long word if you're talking about granddaughter, but it gets the point across. So what some people will do for granddaughter is they will do grandma, daughter. So grandma, daughter, grandma, daughter. Mm -hmm. um, another, <clears throat> another way you could do it is just finger spell grand. So G-R-A-N-D, daughter or son, um, the other way, oh, I'm trying to remember that way. I think those are just the two that I see more common and then just finger spelling the whole granddaughter. So there's not really a clear, clear sign. Okay. Oh no, phone, don't do that. Sorry, my list, it went away. Um, okay, family, let's see the rest of the family we've done. Um, husband and wife, no, there we go. Sorry, I have not had to do this much talking today because usually I just sign all day. So it's like, that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, I can just feel it. <laughs> okay, so for husband and wife, what you do is for wife, you're gonna have 
your non-dominant open hand, your dominant is going to be on the, like your knuckles are on your chin and you're going to go wife, wife. Mm -hmm. Husband is the same thing, but on your forehead. Husband, wife. Mm -hmm. Husband, wife. Now, um, I will, I always add this in here just with this because it is one that can be easily, if it ever came up, you have at least some knowing of it, is that the sign for believe and the sign for husband kind of almost alternate. <laughs> so, because I'll see if I ask, again, if I ask some people, well, what's the sign for husband? They'll go husband. What's the sign for believe? They'll go believe. Um, some differences is that for like believe, it's like one, like they have the, like it's like one clap believe and then just husband i've also seen them flipped <laughs> where they say this husband believe um i tend to use this for husband and that for believe really it's not a common enough occurrence where they're going to be together where it'd be confusing like if you're talking about oh yeah my husband works somewhere you know you're not saying my belief works because your belief does not work somewhere you know of like, my belief is that all animals, blah, 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 blah. Just, you know, they're not going to say, well, my husband, all animals, but that doesn't make sense. So, you know, it's a lot of context clues that will help it out. So, okay. The next family ones we have are mother-in-law, father-in-law, like in-laws, and then step family. So the way you do step family is you just fingerspell, like if it's step dad, S-T-E-P, dad, step, mom, those kinds of things. Um, for in-laws, <clears throat> what do you do? So like you're talking about your mother-in-law, you would do the sign for mom and then you can finger spell in, I-N, and then the sign for law. And the sign for law is you're gonna have your non-dominant sideways, your dominance in that L shape, and you're gonna go law. You tap it twice, mm -hmm. law. And you almost want to have it like kind of flat, like your knuckles tap it. Law, law. Mm -hmm. So my mother in law. Um, let's see. I think that's all the family. I'm trying to think because we did our step, we did our in laws. I'm trying to think of everybody who comes in for the holidays. I'm trying to get that list. Oh. Half siblings, yes. So half siblings is another one where you finger spell half, half. So my half, ooh, I did not spell it right. I'm so sorry. My half sister, half brother. Mm -hmm. Another one you finger spell. So are there, I know we did kind of go by those a little fast. Um, we will go, let's go back through them. <laughs> I know I just kept throwing them. I realized I was like, we're not, we haven't stopped yet, have we? And so we're going to go back and go through them again. And then we'll move on to our places or no, well, actually let's move on to our WH question words and then our places. Cause if we don't finish places, I'd, I'd rather stop in places rather than WH question words. So, all right, we had our sign for family, 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 mm -hmm. mom, Mom, mm -hmm. dad, dad, yep. Mom and dad are parents. Is that back and forth? Mm -hmm. Sister, sister, sister. So it's like the L, your pointer finger, yeah, sister. Mm -hmm. And you have a kind of place on top, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then we have brother. Yeah, brother, brother. Mm -hmm. Then we have boy, boy. I'll swap. I shouldn't have swapped hands. <laughs> then we have girl, girl. Mm -hmm. Then we have daughter, girl, baby, mm -hmm. daughter. And then son, boy, baby. Mm hmm. Then we have uncle, uncle. Mm -hmm. Just think about a lot of the ones right here are all, <coughs> they all start with their letters, which is kind of helpful. So uncle, 
Then we have ant, ant. Mm -hmm. And then I know we didn't do this in this spot, but we're going to do it because it's together. Cousins, cousins. Mm -hmm. Then we have grandma, grandma. Mm -hmm. And then grandpa. I have a few students who, every time I think of when I do the sign for grandma, I just think about a couple of my students. <laughs> I've told this story so many times. I still think it's funny. I just have, I have last year, my sixth graders were just hilarious kids and they were very creative and they would ever be talking about, and they would go back and forth. Sometimes they would talk about their grandma or they would try to talk about me because I would like stand up and I'd be like, Oh, my back hurts. And so what they do is they'll do the sign for grandma but then they keep going. They'll go, grandma, mom, 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 mom. Like they're acting like I'm so old. Like I just keep going. And as I think one of my favorite things with these kids is how creative they are. And it's not just, okay, grandma. It's okay, grandma. Like I just, and I think it's the funniest thing. So I don't know. That's always what I think about when I do the sign for grandma. And it just makes me laugh to myself. I miss my sixth graders. They're all doing great things now and I'm happy for them. But like, my heart. <laughs> so then we had, what do we have after grandma and grandpa? I think we had this, oh, niece and nephew. I have, I'm glad I looked at the chat. So niece is that N again, next to our chin, niece. And then nephew up top. Yep, nephew. For um, granddaughter, grandson, again, like I said, really the two ways. You can either fingerspell grand and then do daughter, or you can do grandma daughter. Mm -hmm. All right. And then our step family, which is just fingerspelling step mom, <coughs> excuse me. I said mom, but I meant dad, <laughs> step dad. Um, and then our half siblings half oh my goodness why can't I fingerspell the word half half sister half brother and then our last one was our in-laws so mom in I in mm -hmm. law law and L law mm -hmm. and this is the general sign for the word law so it's not just the law for like parent, for like mother-in-laws and stuff. That's also like, if you're talking about well, laws being passed or no, that's the law. This is the sign for law. So nice little tidbit. Okay. <clears throat> Are there any questions or any signs you'd like me to go over or anything you guys can think I didn't mention? Yes. Taylor, what do you want to ask? Um, do you want to know what baby is? The baby of the family? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I cannot believe I've gone this far in these classes without actually saying the sign for baby. So it's very simple. It's what you would think. And it's baby. Mm hmm. Baby. That's a good question. That has not been ever one of the signs we've said. We've always just kind of gone without it. I can't believe that. So thank you. We will definitely add that to our list now. <laughs> Any other signs or questions you guys can think of? Okay, good. All righty. <laughs> Sorry, had to get another sip in. Okay, so now let's move on to our, what's called our WH, oh, yes. Oh, oh, husband and wife. So wife, wife, mm -hmm. husband. Yeah, yeah. Wife and husband, yep. And that's, I think also the sign for married, it's just kind of that <coughs> general motion. I think it kind of goes in hand. Well, you know, if you're saying my wife, most of the time it's you are married. So, <laughs> okay, now we're going to move on to the WH question words. Um, there's only about 
Jesus, every time, who, what, when, where, why? There are five WH question words. I tend to add about two extra ones that aren't the W is the how and how many. So one thing that's important with your question words is your question words, it's real, your eyebrows are actually very important for them. For all of these, your eyebrows, you want them to be down. So like, if we're gonna, we'll start with what first, cause that one's kind of almost, is an easier one. So the sign for what is what? You just kind of have your open hands and you just go what? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go what? Like your eyebrows are gonna go down. I know you feel like you're being so mean and so mad, but it's not. So the reason why you do the what with the eyebrows down is because when you use the actual sign, what, you, um, you don't have it at the beginning of a sentence. So like in English, you know, we say, what is your name? In ASL, you would say your name, what? And so because your eyebrows are down, that actually tells the person you're talking to that you asked them a question. And depending on where your eyebrows are, if they're up or they're down, that tells them, oh, you're asking me a question that I need to actually have an answer for. Because up is for things like if you're saying, you, you all right? You feeling good? You feeling fine? Your eyebrows are up to tell them it's a yes or no. If your, eyebrow, if your eyebrows are down, that's telling them it's a, it's a question that doesn't, yes or no is not going to answer it. You have to actually think of something. So, and that's always kind of helpful when you're learning ASL and if you ever come across talking to a deaf person is that they ask you a question. Those eyebrows can really be helpful. The whole face is, but yes, it does take practice because you almost want to be like, I just look so angry or you're like, you're being very dramatic, but it's like, no, it's very helpful. So like we said, the first sign is what? So what? What? <laughs> it's hard. I know. Trust me. <laughs> and you're going to, pra you practice and you're going to like end up seeing yourself in a mirror and going, oh my gosh, I, I can't even look at me doing this. So yeah. I think. Then the next one is who. So who is going to be that L? The thumb is on your chin again. And you're going to go who? Who? Mm -hmm. Who? And if you notice, my lips almost kind of do that who sound. Um, and that's actually common. Everybody does it, even deaf people, which I don't know. I think that's really cool. I don't know why I think that's cool. I just think it's fascinating, I guess, is the word. It's more interesting to me because, you know, someone who doesn't have the language of the mouth shape of who, but if they know this works with it, like it goes together. I just think it's cool. Then we have who, what, when. So when is going to be two finger here. Okay. When is going to be two fingers and your pointer finger or your dominant pointer finger is going to go in a loop. When, when, mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when, yep. Okay, then our next one is where. So the sign for where is going to be, it's not fully up, it's kind of crooked, but it's not all the way to an X. It's kind of just in the middle. And you're going to go where, 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 mm-hmm. Where? Mm-hmm. And for younger kids, if they do the this, that's okay too. Um, that's the nice thing about ASL, obviously, is that you know it's like learning. It's, it is a language, and so how in English, you know, sometimes some kids struggle to formulate words when they're really young. Same thing happens in ASL, and it's not. It's not the end of the world. We can always build and practice on it. So <laughs> then we have why. So Y has two different signs for it. The first one is, or really actually three. The first one is you're going to start here with your fingers bent and you're going to go Y. Like you pull them out to a Y. 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 Mm -hmm. Y. The next one is the same sort of motion, but now it's just your middle fingers touching your forehead. And you go Y. Y. It's just the middle finger. Yeah. Why? 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 The third one is just going, why? Why? You just bounce that middle finger up and down, back and forth. Why? Um, I learned this one, the why, the plane, which is the actual why. And then I've learned to grow into this one. Why? Why? <laughs> so it just kind of depends on the area you're in. Um, let's see. Let's 
we'll just do the other two and then we'll actually review them again. So the next one is how, excuse me. So how is gonna be your two thumbs up together and you're gonna go forward. How, how, mm -hmm. how. This is also how you would sign like, how are you? So how you would sign how are you is actually different than how you would use the other word, like the other WH words, where you will start with how are you, how you. So how, and then you, mm -hmm. and that's how you would say, how are you? So I know I just was talking about how you say the WH at the end, but how are you is one of those ones that actually is in the front. How are you? All right. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense mm -hmm. to start with how are you? Mm -hmm. Because if you went you, how, the other person would be expecting how what? Like, and I think that's actually where it is because how can be so, you know, you can almost, there are two different ways you can take it. You can take it as saying like, well, how are you? Are, how, how, are you do, like almost like saying like, how are you doing this? And in ASL, you're not always so, well, not, not saying don't expand, but um, it can be very simple that it could easily confuse. Well, you, how, how, like, you know, that kind of thing. So that, that makes sense. That does. How are you? You, how? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been paying second. attention, Jillian. <laughs> you have, and you've been picking up on things and I love it. Because it's here, it helps me know. I'm like, okay, we did talk about this. Or, oh, wait, I did mention this at some point. Because sometimes I always question it. I'm like, did I ever talk about this? <laughs> I'm running low on water. I'm hoping I can hold out these next 30 minutes. <laughs> All right. Okay, the next one is how many. So how many, um, what you're going to do is you're going to have closed fists. And you go, how much or how many? And it's kind of, it's the same thing for how much and how many, because if you're talking like, how much do you want? Like how much, like, you know, you want how much um, or how many, that kind of thing. So, and um, if you were to say, actually, I have not, we've not signed this one before, but if you were going to actually answer like that, how much, how many, and you want to say many, you'd go many, many, like, so that's where your eyebrows are going to come in and make a difference. So if you're talk, asking someone, well, how many, how many? Um, and, but you're telling them like, oh, they're asking you and you're like, oh, many. And you go, many. Eyebrows is going to tell you, like tell them you are answering like it's many, you're not asking them. So, okay, let's review it. Go back to our who, <coughs> sorry, our what, we start with what, move on. And then we will go to some places. So. Okay, the first one is what? So, what? What? Mm -hmm. What? The next one is who? 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 Mm -hmm. And then the next one is when? 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 Mm -hmm. When? Then we have where, where, where. And again, it's kind of crooked a little, yeah. Where, where. And then we have why. Why, that actual why, mm-hmm. Or why with that middle finger, why. Or why. And you want to have like all your fingers up. So it's just your middle one that bounces down. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Jillian, and, which do you see your students do? So I, um, <clears throat> I see a lot of this, which is why I do this now. Yeah. I think it's, um, it's almost in my mind. I like to think of it as one of those signs that has where a lot of times in ASL will be the proper, air quotes, the proper way you do it is this way, but then you actually get into it and you're actually using it more that it's not like, it, that's not as common. And I'm trying to think of some other examples of signs. And so there's just some signs like that'll do that. And 
you know, it's almost like not slang, but it's like how we shorten terms and we shorten things in English, you know, when we're saying like, how are you today? We're like, how are you doing today? You know, something short or something like that is slightly that changed. And that happens in ASL too. And I think why is one of them. I think it was this, they went to this because, you know, one finger is shorter than three. And then it just came down to bouncing it up here. So I almost think it's like a shorter hand thing. I, I learned this. I was very strict on always doing why. And then I started doing this one with the middle. And then I'm now at this point. I don't even move my hand away. I might do a little like why, but most of the time I do why. why? And it's because I see it so much at school. So I love when I realize I pick up from my kids. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so now, oh wait, no, how and how many. So how, like we did, is how, how, mm -hmm. how, and then how much or how many, how much, how much, mm -hmm. how much. Okay, now let's move on to some places. So if you haven't noticed, I've done the sign for place a few times, and what it is is you have, I guess you could just say your K's for right now. You have two K's. You're going to turn them sideways. Starting away from you, they're going to be touched and they're going to go out, back, and forward together. So you're almost making a square with your P's. <coughs> and that's just to show you're talking about a, like a location, place. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So the first one we have is home. So the sign for home is going to be an O. You start at the corner of your mouth and you go back to your ear. Home. Home. Mm -hmm. Then we have house. So house is going to be house. You kind of like start in a triangle and you make the shape house. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. It's like the motion, the shape for an actual like house. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Then the next one, because, you know, obviously for me is it's what I think of all the time is school. So the sign for school is going to be school, school. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure you don't ever have them opposite, because when you do this, this is paper <laughs> and this is school, mm -hmm. school, paper. You wouldn't be, you'd be surprised how often people get that confused. Not in these classes, but like when I went to school, everyone got them confused. Like that was one of the big, biggest, hardest ones was like, which one's school and which one's paper? Which one's which? And it was always funny because we always had a piece of paper and we were inside the school. And so it was like, we were trying to like hint off to the person like, what is this? Where, where are we? And the kids still wouldn't get it. And he's like, okay, so, okay. Then the next one is, I guess... Miss Katie, have we ever done the sign for work with this stuff? Or usually don't we wait till later on? Because I guess like you could say your workplace. I think we've done work before. Uh-huh. I Which mean, is... in this section, sometimes we have. I'm sure, it, I know it's come up a couple of different times, like in a couple of different sessions, I guess. Yeah. So the sign for work <laughs> is going to be an S and it's going to be your dominant is going to have its palm tap on your non-dominant work. So you have your fist, both hands are in a fist. One is sideways, the other one bounces on it. Yeah, work, work, mm-hmm. Well, that's rock. <laughs> so rock is gonna be flat. Work, you wanna make sure it's standing up where your palm, what is, whatever this is called, taps, yeah, work, mm-hmm. But flat like this is rock. <laughs> you had a sign. <laughs> Those are also two easy ones to get confused. So work, rock, rock, there you go, work, there you go. And that is also for like your type of work, like, oh, I work, blah, 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 or please work on your paper, or I need to work on my work, assignment, whatever. So that's the same motion for work. Um, so if you were going to say your workplace, you could do work place. Um, that's just kind of more of a general basis one. Um, the next one I have is the library because I have forgotten this one in a couple of classes and I get a little, I get a little bit in trouble. <laughs> so I need to remember it. 
So the sign for library is going to be an L and you go in a circle, library. Mm -hmm. Library, so simple. I love it. Then our next one we're going to have is restaurant. So the sign for restaurant is going to be an R and you're going to go on the opposite side of your mouth. So I'm left-handed, so I'm on my right. Your guys probably could be this way. And you're going to restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you want to start the opposite side. Yeah. And you go R down, restaurant, mm -hmm. restaurant. Yeah. And that's going to be kind of the same. So I'll just say now for cafeteria. So if you're talking about a cafeteria, it's cafeteria. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. C, C, cafeteria, cafeteria. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Store. So the sign for store is going to be store. It's like you have your hand puppets, but they're really sad. And then you go store, store. Some people will think of it as like a grocery bag, like you're holding a grocery bag, store. I just think of really sad hand puppets. Don't know why. That's <laughs> I'm sorry, I knew that was going to get her too, but it's like, that's all I think of. I don't know. It's just it's something I got. So if you were going to talk about a grocery store, what you do is you do the sign for food, which is food, food. So food store, mm -hmm. food store. If you were talking about a clothes store, you do clothes, the sign for clothes, mm -hmm. clothes clothes store clothing store um i think of some other stores there are if you're talking about I'm trying to think of some other stores let's see we always ever do food and clothes but i'm trying to think of some other ones um if you were i guess like apple store or the uh, technology store um because apple does technically people use um the actual sign for, oh, that's a good one. Actual sign for Apple, for Apple store, Apple, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny because, you know, like I just, it, you know, it's like, well, someone could very much say, well, oh, it's a store full of apples, but it's like, no, 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 it's talking about the technology. But the sign for technology is you have your non dominant sideways, your dominant middle finger is going to tap technology. Mm -hmm. And you want it on like the side of your, Kind of like right at the bottom, yeah. Technology, mm -hmm. technology, yep. So technology store. I don't um, think we've ever done the sign for technology before. We That's have like three new signs in this lesson. I know. I keep adding, and I was like, oh, it's because every time we do places, I every time I have to think on the spot of like other places, like my brain never thinks of any. It just always thinks of grocery store and um. The other one I said, clothing. Yeah. But like now I'm actually like, you know what? No, wait, there's like so many other stores out there. So yeah, you guys are gonna get like the whole like load of stores. It'll be great. But um, so the sign for bookstore. So the sign for book is book, book. Mm -hmm. So book store. That too is one that is one of my favorite places. I have a very bad problem of spending too much money on books. So that when I saw that, I was like, oh yes, that's me right there. <laughs> um, and the, um, no, no, I'm gonna hold it. I was about to show the sign for Halloween store, but I'm gonna hold it because next week, I'll just say this now, next week we are going to do Halloween signs. I'm so excited. There's only ever a few classes that are so close with Halloween that we actually like get to do some Halloween signs. They are really fun. Um, so we're going to do that. Yeah, you think of all of the different kinds of Halloween characters, monsters, whatever, so we can have a list. Um, but that's what we're going to do next week. That should be really fun. I don't know. I've always, I, I think the Halloween signs are fun. And I think everyone likes them because they're just, they're different. You know, they're silly. Not really always silly, but they're sillier. So I will hold Halloween store for next week mainly because it's just the sign for Halloween and then store. And I wanna show the sign for Halloween next week. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. What are some other places now that we've done that? Um, 
the police station. So if you're talking about a, like the police, like a police station, what you do is you do the sign for cops and police. It's the same thing. It's not a full C. It's just like one hand C and you go across. Yeah. So like, it's almost like their badge, mm -hmm. police. Um, if you're talking about a firefighter, excuse me, it's firefighter. I think it's this one. Sorry, I'll check on this one. I usually think it was this one. And then another kid I saw did this and it kind of threw me for a minute. I need to check on that, but I will come back and review that again. Sometimes kids will sign it differently because they've been in a different state. They've been somewhere else and they've seen it. And then some kids signed it because they, they misunderstood and they didn't, they didn't know. They thought that's what they saw, but it wasn't at it. So I need to check on that. Um, okay, then some other places that I forgot. I know I'm forgetting more. Um, a playground. Oh, and the beach. That's a good one. So the playground, what you do for playground is you're going to do the sign for play, which play is two Y's and you shake them. Play. Mm -hmm. Play. And then what you do is you do play area. So you go play area. Like you start with an A and you open up area yeah play area mm -hmm. um for beach so beach has a couple of interesting ways um there's not always been kind of a clear just one way some people just finger spell beach and just kind of leave it at that others will do water sign for water which is w water and then they'll make the motion of the waves coming up Sometimes I have the closed fist, sometimes it's just open. Water, beach, mm -hmm. Yep, so it's almost like that motion of they, it's coming up towards the water. Mm -hmm. Let's see, any other places that we're I'm trying to think? Hmm, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm thinking. Usually I have a few more, but I'm running out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So sorry. She mentioned one. That was a good one. This one's one of our favorite ones to bring up because it's a very funny conversation. Um, so I'm going to show you guys two signs. One is going to be the sign for church and one is going to be the sign for chocolate. Now, the reason, <laughs> the reason we do this is because they are very, very similar. So the sign for church is church. It's a C and you bounce it on top of the back of your hand, church. The sign for chocolate is chocolate. And so a lot of people will flip it and they will say, I really want some church right now, or I need to go to chocolate. And it's, I think one of our favorite things, because it's just so funny, it's so easy to mistake, but like many people do it, church, chocolate. Mm -hmm. Just thought of something. Mm -hmm. And this is very like Judeo Christian centered. I get it, but it clicked in my head mm -hmm. when you said this is rock. Mm -hmm. This is rock. Remember how he's like, upon this rock, I build my church. Like, huh? Oh my God. I feel like that's a good, you know, if you know that, if you know that, you could make that connection. And oh, yeah. Well, I mean, rock, church. There like you go. I like, see, I always like when you have connections that are kind of like that, that makes sense. I don't know. I'm always that person. I think it's cool. But the cool thing with sign language, ASL, is that it technically does come from French sign language. Ours branches off of, yeah, French sign language. So the reason we have ASL is because um, I'm going to a little bit of a history lesson. You have bit. never told us that. <laughs> I realized that. I was like, oh, wait, I've never said this. So I think all um, this new content. This is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this would happen at some point, but um, yeah. So when back in like the 1800s, I cannot, I'm not good with dates. I know somewhat, but I'm not good with history in general. I struggle with it. But um, two men named, one was named Thomas Gallaudet and the other one was named Laurent Clerc. Um, Gallaudet went to France and that's where he met Laurent Clerc. And that's when they decided to come together to form not only a school for the deaf, but also to build and kind of, not an event, but build and expand the ASR American Sign Language. And to do that, Laurent Clerc, he was a French man who knew it, 
French Sign Language and came over and taught Gallaudet. Gallaudet learned it and then I guess you could say modified it for English, but that's how we got American Sign Language is that way. So a lot of our signs are very similar for France, um, from Fr French Sign Language, they're very similar, um, which I just, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. So yeah, that's a little bit of a history of where ASL came from. It's, I don't know, I think it's always kind of, I'm one of those people, I think that's fascinating. So, but yeah, <coughs> excuse me. I was trying to think of some other places. I can't believe I'm not thinking of any right now. Um, oh, okay, that's a good one. Let's see. Okay, okay, there we go. So <clears throat> I saw you typing. I was like, where's the next one? Okay, so the sign for farm is going to be a five. Your thumb is going to go in the corner of your mouth, the opposite side. So yeah, and you go farm, farm, mm -hmm. farm, yep, farm. For marketplace, um, really, I guess, really that one's kind of more like store play, like you could do store place, market place. Um, you can always finger spell market place, you know, I know sometimes, um, they, those are those can be very different things and so if you ever come to oh that's a good one <laughs> if you ever come to the point where you're like well marketplace I don't really want to say store that's where that finger spelling comes into place so the doctor's office so the doctor and the sign for doctor is doctor you're going to have your non-dominant palm up your dominant's kind of at that bent hand and you go doctor doctor mm-hmm Excuse me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is doctor. A lot of times for doctor's office, like if you're going to the doctor's, a lot, I know we will say we're going to the doctor's office, but you don't always do that in ASL. You can, but most of the time you're just saying, I'm going to the doctor's. I got to go to the doctor's. But the sign for office is office. You have two O's and then you come out. So the O's out, yeah office mm -hmm. office for our farmers market you can do farm hmm, let's say farm store i mean you could <laughs> i probably would finger spell farmers market <laughs> mainly because a lot of things with asl you take them very literal and i think so, in alabama people could actually think you mean like the feed and seed yeah you know i was like farm store like both are popular enough that like either way and um because if I was saying I went to the farmer's market I would do farmers and probably store because that that they will know much of but with farm because you have the farm store and then you have farmers market so that could there could be a difference there um or there, that could be there is a big difference there for some so um so the sign for gas station or convenience store so the sign for gas station is just the sign for gas and then place. So the sign for gas is gas, gas. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally gas is what you would think. So it's gas, mm -hmm. gas. Um, so you could go gas store, like gas place store. Yeah, see a lot of them you kind of almost either, but this is sign for like expand or elaborate on. Yeah, like gas like you know those kinds of things so you almost kind of are describing so gas store um because there's not like an actual gas store the only thing you can think of is like a gas where where <laughs> you said where and i was like i saw your mouth saying where but that's what that's okay <laughs> but gas so gas where yeah um so yeah but like don't put yourself in this. I mean, you can if you want to convenience store. Um, but like, I promise you, finger spelling that is just not going to be a, that's, because mm, that's just a lot. I would almost be like, let's try to describe it first and then we do it. So, yeah. Are there any other places you guys can think of? Because I'm thinking over here. Um, 
I'm trying to think of where else I go, you know? That's like what I think of. Um, okay, wait, I have a few. I have two, three. They're air quote fast food places. So, because there are kind of ones that are a little more common. The first one is McDonald's. The next one is Burger King. And then the last one is Starbucks. Because those three, I know, have a sign. So, the sign for McDonald's is going to be your non-dominant is a fist. And you start with an M. You go M D McDonald's, McDonald's, mm -hmm. M D McDonald's. Yep. <laughs> M D. Yes, yes. There you go. It's it's hard if you don't get in that mindset. Your hand wants to go to every other sign but that one. So we have McDonald's, then Burger King is burger. Burger, so this is time for sandwich or meat for burger. King, let me back up a little. So King is going to start from the uh, across, and you come down almost like a sash. King. Mm -hmm. Then the last one is Starbucks, um, because I am a coffee girl, love my Starbucks, and it's Starbucks. You just have them like your middle fingers flick together. Yeah, don't hurt yourself with it though. Starbucks. Mm -hmm. but yeah there's a couple <clears throat> there are a few other restaurants that have signs one that I've had actual like not arguments but like discussions on and I've never no one has given me a right sign so that's why I'm not giving it because it's Chick-fil-a I saw it one way got air quote yelled at because it was not that's not how you sign Chick-fil-a then I got another way and then I was told that one isn't right either and so I've just I'm like okay Chick-fil-a <laughs> I just finger spell it most of them you do. There's very few that have their name signs. So, yeah. All right. Are there any other places you guys can think of? Any questions you guys have? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Is there a way to say, um, like, in relation to place, down the road or down the highway? Or is that something you would just finger spell? You know, if you're trying to describe, like, the gas station, the gas like places. Down the road. Yeah. So what you would do um, is this one's a little tricky. And the reason I say it is, is because you have to have a lot of describing, like descriptors in it. So for example, if I was talking about the road, I would do the sign for road, which is ours, road, road. I'd say you road. And then I would say right right so right is an r and you go to the actual right l is left so that's how you make that motion of saying well i'm going down the road you go right here at the first sign or the left here at the second left you know that kind of thing um it gets very complicated if you were just saying it's down the road you would just go this road down there like road down like you keep going mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not an easy one. It's that's kind of like the biggest challenge with ASL with people learning ASL. Um, and that because so there's this thing called it's called a sign language proficiency test. And basically we call it the Skippy. And what it does is it tests your abilities to have a conversation in ASL. And they always ask you because I've had to take it. I've taken it twice now. Once was just for before my internship. And the second time was just to see how much improvement I've made. Um, which is kind of nice. I really just, you know, it's nice to see how much improvement you've made, but um, they always ask you a question about describe location of like a house or how would you get to one place or another? And I tell you every time I started, I'm like, nope, I don't like how I've done this because you have to really kind of follow through with your setup. So if you're saying this house is on the right, it's down here and on the right, you can't just change and have it suddenly be on the left. You've got to keep it. Like, it's almost like you've built the setup for a play and you can't just move it around however you want or it doesn't make sense. And um, I'm pretty bad about that. I have a lot of problems of, I try to almost change my perspective so I can see which way is better and it gets confusing easily. So that one's always kind of a challenging one just in itself. So, but yeah. <laughs> All righty, any other questions? No? Alrighty, well, we'll finish a minute early. That's not bad. <laughs>
And I will see you guys all next week when we do our Halloween signs. I purposely Woo-hoo. didn't sign Halloween again. I'm excited. Yay. So bye, guys. Have a great week. Bye, y'all.